Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks for joining us for WHS-TV News for October 12th. I'm Willow Saran. And I'm Natalie Toy. Homecoming was a lot of fun for the students and staff at Woodstown. Congratulations to the homecoming king, Dean Sorrentino, and our homecoming queen, Chloe Kazupi. The sophomores took first place at the homecoming parade for their Monsters, Inc. themed float. The seniors came in second with a theme of Up. The juniors placed third with their Toy Story float. And the freshmen's Finding Nemo float finished fourth. The first pep rally in two years was held on October 1st. It was a beautiful day on the football field. The competitions included a potato sack race, tug of war, and even the teachers played musical chairs. In the end, the seniors swept the week, winning the alma mater stick, the spirit stick, and the banner decorating contest. Thanks to everyone who put together and participated in Spirit Week. The AV Club is having a general interest meeting after school in the Media Center on Thursday, October 14th. The return of Open Mic Night will take place in the Media Center on Friday, October 22nd. Here are some important upcoming events from Guidance. Tomorrow, the 13th, all 10th and all 11th grade students will take the PSAT test starting at 745. Also, tomorrow night is Financial Aid Information Night at 630 in the auditorium. And on Wednesday, October 27th, is the Accuplacer test at 7.45 in the cafeteria. Now let's throw it over to Cody as he takes a look at the girls' tennis team season so far. Thanks, Natalie. The girls' tennis team holds a 6-5 and five record and were second in the Tri-County Conference Diamond Division. They earned the number five seed in the South Jersey Group 1 tournament and advanced to the quarterfinals. They did fall short to the number four seed Haddon Township last week, but the team made great strides this season. The team hopes to finish strong in their last eight matches to keep their winning record. Good luck to the girls' tennis team. Now let's check out this week's sports schedule. Don't forget to check the sports schedule online for updates and changes. That's it for sports. Good luck to our athletes. Um, seems like candy corn to me. Uh, these feel like maybe plastic skeleton hands attached to uh, some kind of a rib cage, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna say this is a, a tiny skeleton. Already thinking it's gonna be something to do with Halloween. See if I'm right here. We've got. This seems to me like plastic vampire teeth. <laughs> okay, final item. So far we've had candy corn, a plastic skeleton, vampire teeth. What is gonna be in the box this time? This feels like a cold egg. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's take a look at this week's lunch menu. And that's all for this week's WHS News. For Willow, Cody, and the rest of our news team, I'm Natalie Toy. Have a great week.